uh, university professors in England and, and America freaking out because ChatGPT, you know, is able to write essays um, mm -hmm. onto a certain level. But I facetiously said recently in a short video that it, this just reveals how robotic writing has already become exactly. at mass, make, at, at mass uh, universities. Uh, what is it? Great make minds think alike, Johannes. I make exactly the the same point in the video I just recorded a few days for my own channel, which I haven't posted yet. That ChatGPT is basically just reproducing jargon. Uh, and um, it's 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 the idle talk is given in Heidegger. What Heidegger? Yeah, is, it's, it's yeah. just reproducing jargon, and um, uh, it's very good at this. But um, even better than humans who are already very good at it, especially academics are very good at, at reproducing jargon. And uh, actually, I welcome this because um, my, I'm the only, I guess, full-time professional academic uh, of, among the three of us. So I'm, I'm full-time in the academic industry. And it's not just that students are required to reproduce a lot of jargon when they write essays and so forth and get rewarded for reproducing jargon. Uh, professors, of course, also have to reproduce a lot of jargon all the time when whatever, writing administrative reports and um, writing reference letters or writing peer review, uh, uh, you know that as well. Uh, right when you have a journal for peer reviewed and then you ask someone to write a review for it and then basically the task is to reproduce some jargon uh, because this is how then the, the selection process goes and this is what expected and so I think chat GPT just reveals makes it more obvious uh, that uh, what large part of the academic system basically consists in in the reproduction uh, of jargon so I wouldn't scandalize the uh, single out the students and scandalize them for utilizing chat GPT for cheating. Uh, I think actually chat GPT may may bring great relief to professional academics uh, because uh, um, they they no longer have to, you know, reproduce the jargon completely by themselves. They can use uh, um, a very effective tool uh, to help them in the required reproduction of jargon i mean that's so when you say reveal obviously that we can say uh it's a bit of a catchy title it's it's the apocalypse of ai in the sense of apocalypse is just revealing something that about language that others have seen also Osset mandelstam a hundred years ago says uh, language is in everyday speech is automated and the only thing that interrupts this is poetry. A hundred years before him, it's Goethe who says it. I'm not aware that Ob Mandelstam, who was a, a Jewish Russian, uh, read Goethe. Um, but I mean, uh, that's again from a Lumanian perspective, it's yeah. very functional. This is how very effective, right? And so, whatever in any social system, including the education system and including the academic system, I would think large parts of of the efficacy of these systems. The Leistungsfähigkeit uh, consists in in the production of jargon. Yeah, if I uh, may add something here, I have to admit I actually have used uh, ChatGPT for <laughs> assignment <laughs> once, but I'm not gonna uh, give away too much, <laughs> otherwise I get into trouble. Um, but the uh, interesting thing is it goes both ways. You can also use ChatGPT as a professor to correct these essays, right? Yeah. To, to edit. Of course, exactly. Them. Yes. And, or to write um, your own paper. Right, exactly, exactly. 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 There is a there is an AI that can generate postmodernist uh, papers, exactly. and then you can yes. get anything generated from like cognitive capitalism yeah. of grain eating or whatever. You know, you can you can find everything. I and, mean, I, I think it's unfair that it, they only say it can be reproduced, which I fully believe to uh, produce postmodernist papers. I think it can equally be used to produce analytic philosophy papers. Either yes, I, I agree. I have the feeling it's with, with postmodernist papers, I think it's just this overload of jargon that makes it even harder to see that it was an AI or something. That it was. I think that's unfair to continental philosophy. I don't dispute that there's an overload of uh, jargon in continental philosophy, but from my kind of outsider experience, I also feel that there is an overload of jargon in yes. analytic philosophy. I completely agree from, from my, uh, because I had to read some of it during my studies, but sorry, Sean, go 